Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, April 23rd, and this is part five of the uh, VT50 BMW Turbo by Tamiya 120 scale. And um, I want to show you what I've done so far. And I got a couple things I want to show you um, uh, how I did them and what I used. So um, it's uh, not going to be bad. It's a little cloudy today in the 60s, maybe outside of Chicago here and uh, on the northern northern suburbs. So um, you know, I'm looking forward to a good day. First of all, cup of coffee. Hmm, that's always good in the morning. Hobbs is in the garage with me. He's right over here. He just heard me call his name. You want to come up here? Come on up. Up? No? Come on. Up here? Up? Up? No? Okay. You're okay. So, uh, let me show you the, let me show you what I've done so far on it. So, I'm going to move this computer over a little bit. And I'm going to show you what's going on here. I got the tires aren't on completely all the way, but it's looking pretty good. I was able to paint yesterday the body because uh, it was about 57. Uh, I usually don't paint if it drops below 50 here in the garage. The paint just, you know, it just doesn't work right. So I had to wait on that, but I'll show you the body here in a minute and what I need to do. And I have a question for some of you guys if you can help me with. But uh, this is what's uh, going on right now. I like the lettering on the tires. came out great. I was going to use yellow. I told you I was going to use yellow. And then uh, I had these pens, these gel pens, and... Um, I saw a guy on uh, YouTube using these, and I ordered a, a bunch, and they're all different sizes, and I'll show them to you in a minute. But that's what uh, she's looking like right now. I painted the uh, rims, and um, what color were the rims? Here it is, Tamiya. XF56 metallic gray, and outlined them in some uh, chrome silver. And in the middle and uh, just fitted them on and see how it looks and it just came out just the way I thought it would I hoped so here you go that's where we're at now does the body fits over the top of this the shell and I've been fitting it fitting it fitting it and it wouldn't snap down all the way one side be up and I figured something's hitting something's got to be hitting somewhere so what I did is I took some sandpaper I should say I took my Dremel and I put a little um, sanding um, piece on there came to a point and uh, I went to work at the back end and the pipe in the back here for some reason was hitting the top so I just niched out a little part of the body I'll show you uh, when I get to the body so the pipe can it protruded through there no big deal it's not a big deal it's okay so it doesn't show it on the box but uh, hey that's what we do so then I figured out it was up front it was hitting someplace around here so I had to shave a little bit off the inside there and I'll show you let me get the body here I painted this yesterday you can see it's white and I did a lot of sanding in the middle up here in here and uh, I think I got it to where it fits just right just the way I'd want it to fit okay so it, it kind of like it just you just need to push down on it a little bit but uh, it's going to look really sharp once it's all done. I haven't put any kind of uh, pledge on it or anything yet. But uh, that's that's what it's going to look like. I got some detailing to do on the body. Now, my question is to you guys. Should I 
Now, I've never used gloss before. I'm always a matte guy. I always use flats, flat colors, okay? And so, and I always used to just tape over it, you know? Uh, I use matte uh, spray to seal it. Now I'm using Future. This is the first time I've used it, and I love it. It's great. I'll use it on everything now. Um, but should I? Now, I've got to mask this off here because there's going to be a blue stripe going all the way around here. There's going to be a piece down the middle. i got a decal going in there. And these sides are going to be blue on here to match the bottom here. Okay? So my question is, do I seal coat this first with Future? Or pledge let it dry a day or two then tape it off and paint it and seal coat it again or do I tape paint and seal coat both which is the best way to do this without leaving any kind of tape residue now I use frog tape and usually don't leave it that and I'm going to use um, some of the Tamiya really thin tape just to get that and this stuff bends real easy so I can get a nice circular and I got to do a little one back here and then cover cover this up and then I'll put some frog tape for overspray around it, tape it all off. So if you have any suggestions, I'd appreciate it if you put it in the suggestion in the comments so uh, to help me out. But I think it's looking pretty sharp. Uh, like I said, the body, the body fits uh, like a glove now. Uh, I just got to push down on that part and I don't want to do that on top of the tires um, and, I'll, and I'll show you what I used on the on the tires here They came out real nice That's gonna look really sharp when it's done and I got the decals and everything on it and the windshield and I don't think I'm gonna put the guy in there so but that's where we're at. Now, to get the letters on the tires, I could have used the toothpick or something, a fine device, and painted it. But I bought this jelly rolls. Jelly, jelly roll classic pens. There's point, what is it? Uh, 0, 05, 0, 08, and zero ten, And the zero 05 is really fine. It's hard to get some of the white out of it. The zero 08 is perfect for these letters. And the zero 010 I used on the back tires was a little big, but, you know, what's nice about this is you could, if you mess up, you could wipe it right off right away. And, you want, and I was worried about the yellow because that's that was real paint out of these paint pens that I bought. So I went with the white. I'm kind of glad I did. Although yellow would have looked sharp too, you know, but they didn't have the yellow back in that time. So this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. And um, let me uh, let me know, you know, uh, I get some help. And these pens are really, here's the uh, point eight. You can't see the, the point on there, but it's real fine and it comes out. And it's just it's just beautiful how it works. I put them inside overnight to warm them up before I used them. I knew it was going to work in the garage. And uh, that worked out really well. But that's where we're at with the um, BT50 BMW Turbo as of now. Today I'm going to work... Oh, I want to show you one other thing. Uh, I did this. I, I painted the mirrors white i drilled a little hole in the body because there was no hole and i made a little pin for them so go in there's a little hole in the side of the body here to where the mirror is going you see the hole there i drilled that in perfectly on both sides there was a little indentation but i wanted a hole there and i painted the mirrors now i used my uh epoxy trick the five minute epoxy on the mirrors and they came out, you can see the, they came out really nice. Like there's glass or there's something covering those. So they came out awesome. 
you can see how that works. So those of you guys that have been doing it, awesome. Those of you guys that haven't, hey, I hope uh, I hope it works for you. I just mix a little bit up, put it on toothpick, and it's got a little uh, convex. Is because it convex or concave? Concave is going in, convex is coming out, right? I believe. But uh, it's it looks like there's glass there, or some sort of mirror. So that's cool. Uh, is there anything else? No, I think I got everything else uh, handled. So I'll be working on this today. Let me know. I'm going to let this dry probably another day before I do whatever I'm going to do. Tape it off or uh, shoot it with pledge. Just let me know. Here's where I took a little bit of the niche out of it in the back. You can see the niche. See that? That's because the exhaust, I felt, was uh, hitting that and causing the body not to s settle down. And now it, it you can't it's not bad uh, I can't sh here let me just show you you can see that right there a little niche out of the back but hey it's not a big deal you know hey I do the best I can but uh, but that fits really nice now really nice I like uh, I like the look of it I think it's gonna come out real nice let me know what you think and let me know you know if you have any tips or anything for me, let me know. Um, the wheels do roll. I don't have them on all the way yet. I haven't shoved them all the way in the uh, in the hole, but I think that's pretty cool. First build of the year, so I started. Uh, it'll be about a three three and a half week build. I just take my time, work a little bit each day on it. And that works out really nice. So, we're there. And it's going to turn nice and warm. So, that's even better. Excuse me. My nose is running a little bit today. So, this is a. Uh, I want to shout out to. Uh, Vince and uh, Chris, thank you guys for all your help. Chris, um, I hope your wife makes it home really soon. Um, and uh, like I said, my prayers were with you, and I'm glad they were answered, and everything's going to be okay. Uh, Max, um, that uh, tape job, uh, you got to, you got to, uh, um, you did a good job on that. It's going to happen. You know, where you have those crisscross patterns and stuff like that. You got to double check your work sometimes, and I'm sure you did. But it happens. You know, you're going to weather it. It's, It looks good. It looks great to me. I uh, need to just touch it up and just, you know, you always got to do that kind of stuff. I do it all the time, you know. But that's, that's the fun of modeling. You run into mistakes or you run into a problem, you fix it. You figure it out. That's why we do this. It's what keeps this going. So, Jerry, Johnny, I'll be talking to you soon. Jerry's home, got his pacemaker in. He's cooking. He's got three weeks off of work. Can't drive because of that strap. I know because I have a pacemaker, pacemaker defibrillator I have. He's got something different. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. I'll have another video really soon. And um, I think uh, she's looking good. Let me know. All right. All right. Thanks for your time. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate all you guys. I watch whoever I can see on there. I, I go on and I learn stuff. So it's a good one. So from uh, the Mystic Modeler, Bruce from the garage in Hobbs. It's around here somewhere. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. And uh, be safe. Okay, and I hope all of your families are safe. Bye.